uh, old KC mill. Uh, KC was Kenneth Cole. Kenneth Cole French was my grandfather. And uh, my mother was uh, Charlotte French. And I'm here with Dwight talking to him about uh, some of these things around here. Uh, we used to have an old uh, corn crib right across the uh, road here. And uh, what he'd do with that is make sure and grind all the feed with that. And uh, every morning he'd get up about 4.30 in the morning and start milking cows. There. He'd do that till 7 o'clock, go eat breakfast. Then he'd come down here and start working on the uh, meal. And when he did that, he'd work from there till about uh, 12 o'clock, take him a nap, get back up, and go again. <laughs> My grandfather's father had it, and uh, the house I live in was built in 1888. So uh, it had to be pretty close to that time frame because they built the uh, two-story house which I live in across from the dairy up there, and it was built in 1888. When I was a kid, we'd always go on every Friday. Uh, he had a blue truck that had sideboards on it, said French Milling Company. And we'd go to all the uh, community stores in this area, where it was uh, Alba, uh, Piedmont, New Market, Jefferson City, everywhere around here. We'd take a lift on every track. And I remember just uh, loving doing it. It was so, so enjoyable. It really was. And, uh, Hey, These old males is getting, well there ain't that many of them left. You and far between. They are, there ain't that many of them left. My memory of uh, a lot of the milling in my younger days, we had uh, we had dogs, we had uh, coon dogs and stuff, and and back then you didn't buy you didn't buy dog food. Now we would take the old corn to mill when we'd take or fresh corn, and we'd we'd have it milled for for us to eat, and then we'd have the, the old corn for dog meal. And, and when Mama would make a, her cornbread, she always made a pan of dog bread. Yeah, dog bread for her yeah, then, and, right? and the dogs, that's what they eat. <laughs> they, you didn't, didn't go and buy dog food back then.
I'm thinking right that's what they call an overshot wheel. It is an overshot wheel. An overshot, you change the wheel, and it instead of going off the side, it come over the top. And as a kid, I remember climbing that wheel. And uh, that's kind of odd to see, because my grandmother would run out and say, Kenneth, get that kid off there before you kill him. <laughs> now, I can remember seeing some males back in my younger days that were what we call undershot. Really? Yeah. The water hit underneath. Hit underneath. And it had to have more force right, to it. Right. And it would hit them pockets. They, they, they've got the wheels made a little bit different as far as the pockets to hold the water. But uh, they call them an undershot wheel and an overshot wheel. But uh, that is an overshot wheel, and it's been there since I uh, since I was this big. Ever since I've known it, it was always there, and it always came over the top, yep. and always turned out. Yep. 